some people who have either not read the constitution or they have misinterpreted the constitution. Sometimes they say, how as a governor you can talk about dharma? Is it against is it not against secularism? No. Our constitution is not against dharma. It is the people, those who wanted to break this country. It is the people, those who wanted to destroy or weaken this country. They have given a distorted, a wrong, a misleading interpretation of secularism. As if Bharat is not a dharmic country. That is wrong. We have to understand the true meaning of secularism in our constitution, Bharatiya constitution. Those, those people who are talking to eradicate Hindu dharma, actually this is a hidden agenda. The hidden agenda is to destroy, to break this country. To break this country since the colonial times and even today with some hostile foreign powers in collaboration with them, in collaboration with jihadis and all, they are trying to break this country. When they say about eradicate Hindu dharma, essentially they are, their agenda is to break Bharat. They will not succeed because Bharat has this inherent strength. There are, unfortunately, there are unacceptable social discrimination in our society. We have untouchability. We have social discrimination. A large section of our brothers and sisters, they are not treated equal. It is painful, it is unacceptable. It is not, it is not, a, not what the dharma, what the Hindu dharma says. Hindu dharma talks about equality. It talks about we are all manifestation of the same divine. In our ancient times, there were many people who are, today they, by today's standard, we can call them belonging to the scheduled caste. But they were the people, they were rishis who contributed the Vedas. They were Mahiras, Rishi Aitarya. There were so many of them. They wrote our Vedas. There was no discrimination. Discrimination crept in later. It is a social evil and this evil must be eradicated. There were several movements within this dharma to eradicate this social evil. And one of the most powerful person who came on this earth, who, who was the great Rishi and great son of Bharat Mata, who fought against this inequality, social inequality, was our great Ramanujacharya. He fought. His whole life was dedicated towards eradication of this inequality. There were several other followers, several other saints who fought against it. They fought, they eradicated in many parts of our country. Unfortunately, in Tamil Nadu, in our state, this social discrimination is a still a major problem. Every day I read in the newspaper, I hear, I get the report, I hear the story of our brothers and sisters from scheduled caste are not being allowed access to the temples. This is a state. I'm surprised, I'm shocked. Nowhere in India, nowhere in Bharat, our young people, we are caste banned. Here in our state, 
our youth are wearing caste bands. How shameful! How shameful! That a state which talks so much about social justice, which makes so much politics about social justice, but they have been exploiting the people in the name of caste, in promoting social discrimination. How come? The similar problem that neighboring states had, but they have resolved it. We do not hear the stories of such discrimination from the neighboring states, but here it becomes so, it is everyday affair. When somebody puts human excreta in the water tank, some student from a class, because he happened to be from a certain community, he does well that the teacher presents, the goes back, the, the children and the family are attacked. What is this? I will not eat the food in the school. That is what happened, I read the other day. Because the food has been cooked by a cook from scheduled caste community. It is shameful. It has to be addressed by social consciousness, by social reform, not by the politics of vote bank. Our country, Bharat has gone to the moon, we all know that. Now we are going to the sun, already has, it has already taken off, launched. We have gone deep into the womb, the bed of the ocean. When our country under a dynamic leadership is moving towards it's destiny to be the leader of the world, to be the Vishwa Guru. Such discrimination is unacceptable. We must, we must live together as a, members of one faith. We must ensure that our people, our brothers and sisters, those who are from the deprived and downtrodden, depressed community, they are equal to us. They must come up. It is our duty to help them come up in every respect. In the economic progress, social equality, a spiritual equality. It is our duty. We must do it. My brothers and sisters, I am very happy to be with you this evening. I am very happy to have, I feel blessed with your love and affection towards me. I feel happy that this village and the villages around, they are doing well, they are coming up. They are building their, their spiritual places, their temples. I wish you the very best. My best wishes to all of you. All of you for your health, for your happiness. I also wish you the very best for the Vinayak Chaturthi, which is tomorrow. This is our festival. I wish we all celebrate as brother and sister together. Thank you very much. Nandri Jai Bahara. Sagodra Sagodri Gale, Indomorumari, Nan in the Mali Valley in Irupo.